Shout out to SneakyFiggy200 for supporting me on level 3 of Patreon. Hey everyone! I'm Albert Boris. Yesterday, the annual February Nintendo Direct was aired, introducing us to upcoming Nintendo content to look forward to playing in 2023. Personally, I ended up being really satisfied. Maybe it wasn't one of the best Directs ever. My reaction to it was pretty similar to the one we had back in September last year, as there were two similarly related things that got my attention the most. First off is Game Boy, GBC, and GBA games being added to the Nintendo Switch Online. I mean, I thought we'd see it sooner or later, but not this early. I mean, it was a real treat. Mario Land 2, Wario Land 3, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. I've only played the 3DS remake so far, and I absolutely loved it, alongside with the rest of this underrated RPG series, so this will be really fun. It was a nice surprise to wake up to, playing some Super Circuit battle mode with a fan of mine. But of course, the main attraction for me was the teaser trailer for Wave 4 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Obviously, we knew we'd see something like this, seeing as we had a teaser for Wave 3 back in September last year, a few months before it released. But despite fully expecting it, I was blown away. I mean, obviously, we'd see the Data Mind Yoshi's Island track from Mario Kart Tour, but I didn't expect it to be such a massive love letter to the entire series. I thought it would just be like two ovals like Yoshi's Tropical Island in Mario Party 1, but no, it's one of the most beautiful amalgamations I've ever seen for one of the best Mario games out there. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I wonder what other track they'll announce. Okay, I need to catch some air. Alright, Birdo. They're adding Birdo to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, with multiple colors at that. Blue Yoshi, you've been a good main, but it's time to move on now. You know what, I don't even care that we got a new track. That's how pleasantly surprised I am to see Birdo. I always thought it was a missed opportunity to not include new characters when the Boosted Course Pass was first revealed last year. I mean, all these ports of courses from Mario Kart Tour, but nothing else? No items, no characters, but well, what do you know now? Nintendo keeps a surprise for us every new update. First the coconut mall cars, then the custom items, and now additional characters. Hey, maybe we'll get additional battle stages for Wave 5. Starting off with, in fact, one of my personal favorite video game characters ever, Birdo. Ever since I got my first Mario game ever, Mario Party 9, Birdo has always been my main, so I can't quite express my happiness enough that she's finally returning to Mario Kart. And what's even better is the possibility Birdo's inclusion raises. What other characters could we get in the Mario Kart 8 Lux Booster Course Pass for Waves 4 to 6? I mean, obviously, they wouldn't just give us one character and then be done for, right? Even if I would personally be satisfied enough with this, the logical conclusion to draw from this is that from now on, we'll be getting a few extra characters for the next three waves as well, which is exactly what we'll be discussing for this video. Predicting characters for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. So, how are we going to do this? Well, if you've been on my channel for a while now, and perhaps watched my recent videos where I tried to pick out remaining GameCube and DS courses, you know exactly the deal. Because the Booster Course Pass is centered around bringing back older courses from past Mario Kart games, it's safe to assume that whatever characters we'd be getting have already been playable in past Mario Kart titles. This is effectively already proven in the trailer, because they introduced Birdo to us specifically as a character returning from Mario Kart Double Dash, her debut game. But most importantly, however, is Mario Kart Tour, because everything from this DLC is ported and enhanced for Mario Kart Tour, so really, any character from Mario Kart Tour is passable. So yeah, too bad, Rob, we won't forget this treachery. And although Birdo is debuting with multiple different color variations, I don't think we'll see any other characters receive a similar treatment, since besides Shy Guy and Yoshi, Birdo is the only other character in Mario Kart Tour to have multiple different colors. The only thing I could see happening related to this is that some of the clone characters already in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe get combined with their original counterparts, so you can pick their clones in a drop-down menu, similar to the Yoshi's Shy guys and Birdos now. And this would probably happen gradually as they add more characters to fit into this space. So with all that being said, I think we're good to go. This is gonna be a fun one. Personally, I believe we'll be getting two new characters per wave. It's the perfect number to not overshadow the eight new courses, which are obviously the main attraction, while still being enough to make you feel they've actually added more than just tracks. 
And there are also precisely 6 characters in total in the current Mario Kart 8 Lux roster, which I believe could be combined with others to make room for these 6 new characters. We'll start off with Wave 4, and we already have Birdo. Birdo's inclusion in this wave leads me to believe that they'll probably be adding characters based on or related to the tracks or theme of the wave they appear in. For example, we'll get Yoshi's Island for this wave, and Birdo is usually partnered with Yoshi in a lot of games she appears in, like in her debut Mario Kart game, Double Dash. And I think I know another character which would quite fit even better for Wave 4, Kamek. He's the main antagonist of the original Yoshi's Island game, so he'd be perfect to make playable alongside a Yoshi's Island themed track. And he's also been one of the most requested characters to be added ever since he was unfairly scrapped in Mario Kart 64 in favor of Donkey Kong, so I think we'll definitely be seeing him, especially with his inclusion in Mario Kart Tour. So that was Wave 4. Now we get to Wave 5's characters. Wave 5 will probably take a step into a more ambitious territory compared to Wave 4, maybe with more difficult tracks, but maybe also with more obscure characters. Well, we're not quite at Wave 6 yet, so we'll probably get at least one more shill character. How about Diddy Kong? Wave 5 will probably release sometime in the summer, so I think we could be getting a character commonly associated with the warm and humid jungle biome, like Diddy Kong. However, what if he could also make his return alongside a Nitro DK track? You see, Datamine warning, we always knew we'd get a Yoshi's Island theme track, since it was Datamine for Mario Kart Tour. The assets and file name gave it away. Another Datamine upcoming track is, bear with me, Mob DK. Yup. I used to only mildly assume it would be a DK theme track, but with Yoshi's Island effectively being a celebration of its game series, adding a character to fit alongside it, and now the possibility of more characters on the way, it feels too obvious actually. Now, I definitely think that Wave 5's Nitro will be a celebration of the Donkey Kong Country series, and what other way to celebrate it than by also bringing us one of the main characters from that series. I mean, if we're gonna get more characters each wave now, Diddy Kong would be anticlimactic for Wave 6, since he's a bit simple, but we also already have a character in Wave 4 people don't care that much about sadly, so no doubt he'd fit perfectly in Wave 6 alongside a possible DK track. So obviously, the second character is gonna be Funky Kong, right? Not so fast. This isn't like Birdo and Kamek where the characters are both related to the Nitro but still different enough to not clash with each other. But Diddy Kong and Funky Kong? They're both Kongs. We'll get back to Funky Kong later in the video, but in my opinion, the second character for Wave 5 should be Pauline. Again, this is another fan favorite character, who has been heavily requested by fans to be added to Mario Kart. And well, what do you know? Unlike Funky Kong, Pauline would perfectly fit the DK celebration without clashing with Diddy Kong, being the first girl Mario had to rescue in the original Donkey Kong arcade game. So yeah, those are the two characters I think we could be seeing for Wave 5. Now we get to wave 6. Now we can talk about Funky Kong. But before we talk about Funky Kong, we will talk about another character. So, I don't think wave 6 will have another celebration-ish track like wave 4 will and wave 5 might. So that gives us a bit more freedom in coming up with what characters we could potentially be getting here. Well, some more freedom. There is a Nitro Mario Kart Tour track which released a few days ago in that game, which happens to be themed after Piranha Plants. Some people know it by the name of Piranha Plant Cove, although its rightful name should be Deep Moray Trench, but that's besides the point now. The point is that it's Piranha Plant themed. Now, it's not given that it will necessarily be in Wave 6, but personally, I at least think it plays a bit safely to be the exclusive Nitro for Wave 5. You know, Wave 6 has, according to data mines, free Nitro tracks, so why not drop it somewhere where it won't end up feeling anticlimactic? My point is, what other character is related to Piranha Plants, debuted in Mario Kart Double Dash, and is playable in Mario Kart Tour? That's right, PD Piranha. We already have King Boo in the base game, who was added exclusively to the Mario Kart 8 Lux port, so I think he deserves to meet his racing partner again. And now, for the final character to be added. What could it be? I think it will be... Honey Queen! What? You thought I was gonna see Funky Kong? Okay, you got me. I know I like to be unpredictable and have the wildest takes known to mankind, like that Mario Kart DS is kinda bad, or that DS Mario Circuit has unrealized potential as a track, but I'll give in this time. 
Funky Kong would make for the perfect final character to be added in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. I know I said that Diddy Kong and Pauline are fan favorites, but oh my is that an understatement for Funky Kong. He's an icon. I don't personally care that much for him, but he's literally the face for Mario Kart Wii, one of the best selling and most revered Mario Kart games of all time. As it turns out, it's also very likely that the final track in the entire Booster Course Pass happens to be Rainbow Road for Mario Kart Wii, after its recent and spectacular inclusion in Mario Kart Tour, so in that regard it would also make sense to add Funky Kong. Saving the biggest fan favorite in Mario Kart of all time to a return alongside one of the most revered tracks from the game he debuted in. And that, my friends, are my predictions for upcoming characters to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. As much as there are some characters I'd love to see, like Honey Queen, Count Black, Vivian, or Antasma, you gotta be realistic, and the reality is right in front of our eyes. But what characters do you want to see get added? If you like this video, then please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel as I talk about everything Mario related. And with all that being said, I'm signing off.